Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on random maze generation. As you can see, like this uh, is being completely randomly generated. So the next time I run it, it'll look different to this. And uh, I've slowed it down just to see the effect, but uh, you can do it almost instantly, pretty much, depending on how big you make the maze. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a, a model of one cell. So I've just I've just pre-made mine for the video here. Um, so it's just a model. The white part is called the base. Uh, the only important part really is the size. So it needs to be square. So mine's 14 by 1 by 14. And then uh, there's actually so on the front side of the base we have a wall this is, bas this is basically a wall of the, uh, wall of the maze um, so it starts off with all four walls and then uh, you know it deletes the walls depending on you know the randomness of the maze so it's got four walls I've just made I've named mine W A S D you could call, you could uh, call yours front left, back, right, if you want. It, it doesn't really matter, but uh, call them something that you understand, so, and call this base as well. So I'm just going to put this in replicate storage, uh, and then we're going to need two things. A script here, in server script service, call this main, and a module script in server storage. To call it maze. Okay, so we need to get server storage. Game get service server storage. Uh, we need to get the maze uh, module script. So require server storage dot maze. Uh, and then we need to get the Oh yeah, we need to we need to, we need to make some variables. So we need local width. I'm just gonna set this to. Well, it all depends on what your how big each cell is. So what you want to do is okay, local width equals. So mine's 40 in here. The base, the width is 14. But we're going to take away two, just to make it so that the walls connect to each other, because because each wall is too long, too wide. So if we take away two, then they'll all connect together nicely. So local width and length, 14 take away two is 12. Um, 12 yet. Yeah. So the width and length 12. Uh, Another thing we need is oh yeah, so now we have that set to twelve. The width and height of the this is of the whole maze. Whole maze. Sorry, I can't spell. Whole maze. One cell. It's the width and length of one cell, and the width and height of the whole maze. It needs to be a multiple of the width and the length. So, if I did one twenty then the maze is going to be 10 by 10 if I do 60 it will be 5 by 5 240 20 by 20 so I'm just going to do mine as 120 for now oh, 120 for now because I don't want it to be too big and then we need we need to get the columns and the rows so local columns calls equals well, it's going to be the width divided by the W. The width of the whole thing divided by the width of just one thing. I guess we can call this H. Um, and local rows equals height divided by H. Now, we want to make sure that these are integers. So whole numbers, otherwise it might break. So, I'm going to do math.floor around these in brackets 
which will basically always or make it always an integer so it doesn't mess up. So now if we print that print calls rows uh run the game it should be in, should print uh ten. Yeah ten ten. So it's gonna be ten by ten maze because of the value the, the values here that I've made. Uh so that's just setting up the maze. In the next part, I'm gonna do the generation of the grid.